What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some modifications to our Bonafide EX23. If you wanna see a walkthrough video um, of this boat, I do have that posted on my YouTube channel. It was my previous video, um, so feel free to check that out. I'll put a link in the description to that video as well. But today, here's what we're gonna be going through. We're gonna be putting on um, a Yak Attack Omega Universal Fishing Rod Holder, a Mighty Mount XL, using some of their 1 quarter 20 threaded studs. We're gonna be adding a padlock uh, paddle holder and then an articulating camera mount to this boat. You can see everything we have is Yak Attack brand. That is because Bonafide was created by the same owner of the Yak Attack brand. Uh, he created this boat wanting to get into the boat market. So everything Yak Attack will somehow fit onto this boat very, very well. Uh, again, in my walkthrough, we talked about a few of those items, but you can check that video out right now. We're gonna go ahead and mount the articulating camera mount from Yak Attack. This is a new product for 2020. It works great for GoPro cameras. You can take off that GoPro attachment. They have ones for standard cameras and they have all sorts of mounting options in terms of height. So if you're looking for something to mount your camera, you can take a look at this product. So this one's pretty easy to install. All you have to do is remove the mighty mount uh, grip. I did unscrew that already. Um, just a little piece that would normally go into the track. And then this just easily screws right onto your studs. Just like that, you've got a mounted camera holder. The next accessory we're gonna to mount to our quarter inch stud is the Yak Attack Omega rod holder. Uh, this is a pretty neat rod holder in that it's compatible with any type of fishing rod or reel. Um, it is available for track mounts or you can mount it to the studs. It does have this really nice rotating security collar um, that kind of keeps your rod in place. So you can actually rotate that closed and hold your rod in place while you're fishing. Just so you guys can see how to remove the track mount here, uh, it is just a little piece down here. You would unscrew that. That. I've unscrewed it most of the way and then it just pops right out from there you just take it right over to your stud and same thing as we did with the other one we just go ahead and screw it on just an update with installing this stud I actually unscrewed the stud just enough so that it was barely in the hole just to make it a little bit easier to get in there uh, and then you can take a little bit easier time screwing it on there um, it is a little difficult with this little piece down here um, so what I actually uh, found is if you push up on this that kind of releases that piece and you can kind of twist it a little bit easier Once you have the quarter stud in you can see there's two little lines here on the back This actually fit nicely into that little crevice there and then you can take your rod holder You'll push up on this little button that'll kind of release it and let it push up a bit and then you can screw it on Once you have that all screwed in uh, you do have this little button here You can fine-tune your location of the holder, which is pretty nice uh, Overall, this will be a great product to have out on the water The next piece we're going to install here is this Yak Attack Mighty Mount XL uh, This is the 9 inch version It does fit perfectly in that little divot that you could see in the first video there uh, That's some of the tools you'll need you'll obviously need the Mighty Mount XL You'll need a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Um, this is what's recommended to give you your starter holes. And then of course you need the provided hardware and then a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna line up um, exactly where you want your Mighty Mount XL here. So I'm going for the center of that little divot. And then you wanna pre-drill your first hole. You'll take one of your provided screws and then you want to use a Phillips head screwdriver and you may want to make sure you don't over tighten this. You want it just tight enough that it's in place, not that it's going to kind of like rip through. Uh, it is basically the plastic holding this on there uh, from the hull of the boat. So you want to make sure that you're not over tightening uh, when it comes to that. Make sure you have everything lined up again. And then I would like to do the opposite corner here just to make sure everything's in place. And then you'll go ahead and repeat the process for the remaining holes. And once you have all the screws in, it's ready to go. So just as an example of how all the track mount accessories work, um, I did take the GoPro mount off the front there um, just to display this. So it comes with the track mount in the bottom here. This piece just slides right into the track and then you tighten it down wherever you want it. And 
and then voila, you have your track mount. One of the main issues with the Bonafide EX123 Expedition is that there is nowhere to put a paddle uh, when you kind of want it out of your way. So that's why I picked up this Yak Attack Paddle Keep. Um, this is this will be installed just to clip the paddle into and then you have a nice little piece that comes across it that will be able to hold it in place. This piece attaches very similar to how our Mighty Mount XL attaches. Um, you do need the drill with the quarter inch, inch drill bit and then a Phillips head screwdriver. It does come with hardware included and of course the paddle keep itself. So we'll start by figuring out where we want it on the boat. Make sure that there's nothing underneath there, which there is not. And then go ahead and give that a drill. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the back screw in because it seems that the front here does have a little bit of an area where there's some adjustment. So I just want to make sure that I have the paddle in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and screw the back end right now. Once you have the back in place, you can line up the front where you want it. And then go ahead and drill your hole. and then you can screw it in place. Now that we've got everything installed, let's take a quick walk and just take a look at what all we did. So we installed this Omega rod holder here uh, with using the quarter inch 20 track studs. Um, those are pretty neat accessories for the Bonafide specifically in those areas. Uh, we also included the GoPro camera mount um, new product from Yak Attack. We installed our paddle keep over here. Uh, pretty quick install, just two screws, some drilling of holes and that was it. And then of course in the back here, we installed our Yak Attack Mighty Mount XL, the nine inch version. Again, multiple screws, quick install. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did shoot this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for all of my future updates.